Joel Mahaffey. I'm a co-founder of Foundation Brewing Company here at One Industrial Way. Uh, we've been here at One Industrial Way since uh, the beginning of July 2013, uh, working on remodeling and fitting up the place, um, putting up new walls, painting, getting the tasting room built out, and uh, we're looking to start production sometime in the next month to have finished beer ready to roll out at the beginning of March. Yeah, we're actually going to release two uh, simultaneously at the beginning. We're going to release uh, Eddie, which is a Saison, and that's named after the current in a stream, and uh, Blaze, which is a Saison IPA. It's, uh, so it's our house yeast, which is our own um, Saison strain that we've developed uh, in a very uh, natural way by just repitching and uh, really enjoying the way that the yeast strain drifted. Uh, so that's what we're going to be using in Eddie and also in Blaze. Um, so that's what makes it a uh, Saison IPA is that it, we use a Saison yeast, uh, but it's the grain bill and uh, hop profile are very similar to a traditional American IPA, big uh, citrusy American hops. Um, the bitterness is pretty tame. Uh, it's very, very drinkable, but you get a big hop bang. The click was really that this was a, the biggest passion in both of our lives as far as what we really enjoy doing in our free time. Uh, both John and I have over 10 years of home brewing background and we met at a homebrew club up in Bangor and really just clicked as far as liking the same types of things and beers, really um, being very technical in our process and trying to rebrew and rebrew until we really nailed down a recipe the way that we wanted. And we both like the same types of beers, which tend to be lower alcohol, very flavorful and aromatic. Uh, the types of beers that you can enjoy drinking for a few hours and, you know, still enjoy the rest of the night and not just be done after, you know, five ounces of a 15% barley wine. So we met at a homebrew club, uh, like I said, and uh, we started by, you know, just swapping beers and we were like, uh, we were both really into the same kinds of beers, so for a little while we were brewing and every time there'd be a home brew club meeting, you know, I'd bring a few extra bottles of something, of some, some beers that I brewed that I thought that he would really dig on in the same thing. And uh, we sort of went back and forth that way until we started talking about, you know, what do you think about opening a brewery together? And uh, once that went forward, then we started trying to nail down, okay, these are a few different kinds of beers that we'd like to make. And this is sort of what we think the recipe should be. So sometimes we tag teamed, you know, he'd take one and I'd take one and we'd brew it. Other times, um, you know, we would, he would brew one version of our IPA and then I would brew the next version and then he would brew the next version. And it just depended on who had more free time in their schedule. Foundation has a lot of meaning to us uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, we, we, firstly, we like the idea or the story that people tell that civilization was founded on the desire for beer and that people stopped being hunter-gatherers because they wanted to cultivate grain so that they could make fermented grain beverages. Um, that's kind of a fun story that, uh, that we like. I don't know how much truth there is to it, but it's fun nevertheless. Uh, but we also feel that uh, beers, and especially session beers, are really sort of the foundation of social interaction. And that's why we like the lower alcohol beers, because you can hang out with your friends or family for a long time. And it shouldn't necessarily have to be like, oh my god, this beer is so intense and the conversation is always coming back to the beer. But just that the beer is enjoyable and it's sort of a social lubricant. I, I think, you know, our brewing philosophy about trying to provide sessionable, very enjoyable beers is really the focus of what we're all about.